Hi guys, welcome to Freebird Two and welcome to React Plus LLM Use Case in Finance Domain Playlist Part Five. So let's get started. So if you don't yet watched my seventy five hard Gen A challenge playlist, please watch and learn Gen A for free. I will put the link in the description. So here I show you what actually credit risk is. So whenever you go to a bank or a, uh, to buy a loan or a credit card or any lending product, bank will analyze your credit history, your personal details, your demographic details and assign you the probability of default. So that depicts that you're going to default on that loan or not. So if your probability is very, very less, you will get the loan easily and at a very less interest rate. If your probability is very high, you will get a loan at very high interest rate or you or you will get rejected as well. So Gen A will help us to solve this problem in a more explained way that you don't need to train or retrain your model again and again after three months or six months as well on a new data. You can just use a large language model and RAG and it will help you to get the probability of default with a complete explanation behind that that why this probability comes. Okay, so as I promised you, this is our next project from this list and I'm building this project by using the Mistral fine-tuned Lylinger model and it is a Zypher 7B LLM that is a fine-tuned version of the Mistral LLM. So let's get started with our project and build a financial fraud reduction project with Python, Langchain and Zypher LLM model. Okay. So guys, here is the project that we have, financial default prediction project from the creditors domain. And our problem statement is to build a kind of a LLM plus RAG based project that can uh, give you the probability of a default by giving all the customers personal password information along with the demographic details. So that's how we can build it. We have the Kegel data from the loan prediction uh, loan default prediction and then we load it into the, with the CSV format, we pre-process it, save it into the vector DB with the help of embedding model from the hugging phase and then build a rack QA chain that can build a complete architecture with the help of Zypher 7B LLM model. Okay, and we will check that if customer will default and with how many, uh, how much of the uh, probability it will get default or not. Okay. So let's first load the data and this is the link of the uh, this my complete notebook on which you can get the code as well. Okay, so first I'll load this kind of uh, data as well and uh, you can see is this data has the customer age, income along with this past information and along with some kind of a demographic information as well, his personal information as well. Okay, and with the help of default status. Okay, so now now we will first check about the missing values. We have some kind of a miss missing values in all these kind of columns as well. So we first uh, for the categorical columns we use the mod and for the other kind of co uh, columns as well we either drop it or we either don't impute it as well. Okay. So that's here we have this kind of uh, uh, for our project we use only the first 10 rows. Okay, because if I use the all the rows that this uh, uh, data have, then it will take so much time to load into the vector DB. So if you are have a very high computing system, you can easily load all that data. But for this kind of project purpose, I only load the first 10 rows. Then I build a prompt. This prompt will help me to store that data into the vector DB in a prompt response format. Okay, so if this kind of thing is there. This is the information about the user. So if this kind of thing is there, then this has to predict some kind of a default probability to me. Okay. Then when, when you just build like this kind of prompt with this kind of a default uh, probability, it will give you the uh, response like this. This is, this is how your complete prompt will look like. Okay. And when and then you have to just store this into the document format because you know whenever you want to store the data into the vector db it has to be in the document format so you store all the data into the document format under these two uh, columns the first is the customer behavior that is all these things and then is the default status that is that okay then we load our hugging face embeddings uh, and embedding model that will embed all over this kind of uh, data that we have and store it into the vector deep. 
okay i just load all this kind of vector embedding model from directly from the hugging face here and then load the chroma db we just first need to install the chroma db as well then i just store all the documents under this collection name with my hugging face embeddings into this directory and build a complete db out of it okay so this is how i create a complete vector db of my data then i need to load the model as well for the model is this okay i have to load it in the quantized format because i don't uh, load it into its full form because uh, that's need a uh, more space and more ram to run so that's why i quantize it just before the loading process as well okay you need to install the accelerate library as well that helps you to accelerate the speed of the model inferencing okay so here i just load the model with my quantization configuration and along with its tokenizer as well okay so it load all the model i just see the quantized model is still so big that its size is approximately 2 gb so it will take some time to load it takes some time to inference as well okay then we build a query pipeline this query pipeline will help you to just gen uh, generate the response of your prompt as well okay so for that i just uh, build a function of the colorized text that will uh, format some sort of word in our response like question answer reasoning total time blue red anything like that okay then i just ask a simple question to this that what is default in credit risk and i just build a llm single function uh, by using the hugging face pipeline here and put my uh, query pipeline into this hug hugging face pipeline function so that it can build a single function out of it then i just pass my prompt into the this llm function and get the response you just see the question is in the red color and answer is in the green color and this is how it explains the complete thing that what is default in the credit risk okay then now we know that our uh, model is running successfully now let's time to build a rag qa chain so for that i just load the uh, rag qa along with the prompt template hug hugging face hub and markdowns everything we need to know then we have to build a prompt so this prompt will help the large language model to know what to do in what context it has to do so we write it as you are an expert characters expert and uh, you have to analyze the data that we give you and predict the uh, uh, sta statement is uh, fraud or not us a uh, given customer is going to uh, default or not okay that, that that thing we have to predict okay so for that i just uh, build a prompt i just uh, get the retriever out of my chroma db and then i build a qa chain and pass my live language model and my retriever along with my prompt and then i ask this kind of a uh, uh, qa chain about the default prob probability of this kind of a customer i just pass uh, this kind of customer all the details that i just have and ask it to give give me the probability and i, I just see it give me the pro uh, probability of approximate down 12% and based on what this prediction based on the logistic regression model train historical data which takes into account all these things so this is how it gives you a good decision making guide okay guys so you know how how you can like build a very like uh, uh smart or very efficient or very explainable default prediction model just you using the gen ai llm and rag as well you don't need to build so many lot of variables to, to train the models multiple times in a month or in a quarter okay so ev everything will get solved here okay guys okay so i hope you guys completely understand that how this project is build and you can try it on your own with different kind of llms as a well, particular kind of data as well and in our next video we'll discuss about the chatbot so we build a finance chatbot that will uh, answer the customers queries about the finance about the investments as well we use the same kind of things like uh, uh, zypher live language model and along with the our uh, other kind of large language models like meta gemini as well to build a complete financial chatbot for your uh, companies or and for your projects as well and if you want to know more about prompt engineering generative ai machine learning and deep learning go watch, watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much